very unusual place. I'm returning to high school. We're all married at secondary with Stein. We're gonna say hi to our old teachers. Stein's leaving for six months to go to Europe and he's gonna meet one of the coaches we were, who taught us rugby. Kinda of feels like 21 Jump Street, a bunch of old dudes walking through a high school. Looks so creepy, we're just like <laughs> looking through gyms. Yeah. Have you seen Mr. Roberts? Earl Marriott Secondary 2011. Right there. Right next to Daniel Lee. He's like a freak of nature athlete. <laughs> All right, so we left the school and we're at the Tim Hortons where we used to always come after high school. So kind of like nostalgic to be here, but um, yeah, it was fun going to the school, but I definitely felt out of place. Felt like a lot of eyes were on me because I'm not, of course, 16 anymore. But um, the one teacher we really wanted to see was not there. So a bit disappointing, but we got to see one of our teachers and uh, it looks like it was doing really well. I'm on a losing streak here, it's so brutal. All right, so Stein dropped me off, and now I'm with Lisa, Laura's little sister. Lisa has to be downtown for a group project, so I'm gonna drive her down, and I'm gonna pick up Laura from work later today, as well as I have a couple meetings. Okay, so I had to stop at home, and I just grabbed the mail. Look at this. For the most part, I have no problem with large numbers of foreigners coming. Yes, there's definitely some complex issues that I do have problems with, but one thing that I really don't like is seeing English being pushed out as an official language. Chinese is not our official language, and I think it's a little bit concerning. There was even a bit of a, a controversial bus stop that went up in a place called Richmond, which is predominantly Chinese, and the bus stop was entirely in Chinese, not a single word of English. Before this gets any more controversial, I won't say another word, but uh, I need to get ready. We're going downtown, and I need to grab my laptop. Alright, so I just dropped Lisa off at school and now I'm heading to my old university where I graduated from. I'm going to be meeting a girl by the name of Aneta. She's a really, really talented photographer and I actually wanted to get a bit of advice from her on how she edits her photos because I really like what she does with them. I'm just about on UBC campus, the University of British Columbia, and where I graduated from about, oh god, how long ago now? About eight months ago probably. Time flies when you're having fun, right? All right, we are now on UBC campus. On the left is all the varsity arenas, the sports fields. It's actually a massive campus. On the right here is the RCMP office where all the police chill. And of course, right next to it is the frats. UBC campus has not changed one bit. Still the same rainy, depressing campus that it was when I was here. I mean, I had a great time, but I do not care for the campus. As beautiful as it is, it is so big. So anywhere you need to go, it takes like 15 to 20 minute walk. It's always raining, so there's puddles, construction. This is the most recent addition to our campus, and that's just a small section of the new student union building. I'm pretty sure it costs like 300 million to build the entire complex. And Loaf Cafe is where I'm meeting Aneta. Alright guys, so we are right now in the cafe and Aneta is showing me the ways of Photoshop. <laughs> I'm going to link her stuff below, you guys need to check out her Instagram. She is such a talented photographer and even better at editing. Alright, just leaving UBC now and I learned so so much in the hour of talking with Aneta. She gave me these ViscoCam presets. It's basically like having the ability to use Instagram filters but on Photoshop and with a, a whole lot more sophistication of course. Hopefully I'll be upping my photography game as well as my editing game. Behind there is Woodward, and that is where all the late night studying would happen before an exam. Basically the only studying all year. And those are the towers I lived in during second year. And this is where most parties would end when at UBC, here at the McDonald's. Just now leaving UBC campus, and I'm going to Murphy's place, because he has all my snowboard gear from Whistler last weekend. Right here is the end of the University Endowment Land and the beginning of the city of Vancouver. And Vancouver being so expensive, all these little properties here, all these little houses, each and every one of these houses is worth at least a couple million dollars. It is craziness. I think they could easily go up to three million. And I have just arrived at Murphy's place. All right, so I picked up all my snowboard gear and 
Now I'm gonna go pick up Laura from work. Okay, so Vancouver actually has this one park and I've seen it on the news a few times. Uh, I've never actually been to it in person. It even made international headlines. I would like to introduce you to Dude Chilling Park. You thought I was kidding. Dude. This is what Canada's all about, guys. It's all about freedom, naming parks, whatever you feel like. Feel blessed to be here. All right, gotta do it for the thumbnail. Here we go. And let's leave. Toronto's mayor is a crackhead, so it's really not that hard to believe that a park was named after a bunch of stoners here in Vancouver. And right there, that ball of craziness is Science World, and it's a giant science exhibit. Continuing on our tour of Vancouver, we are now entering into Chinatown, and onto the less glamorous side of Vancouver, we are here at East Hastings, and this is where a lot of homeless people, drug addicts, not the nicest part of Vancouver. Vancouver actually has a really large uh, homeless population. A lot of it has to do with the fact that Canadians who cannot afford homes or just have you know, mental or drug problems, whatever it may be, they actually can't survive the winter in other provinces where it gets too cold. And Vancouver is quite mild comparative to most of the Canadian provinces, so that's why a lot of the homeless people will actually migrate to British Columbia, and hence Vancouver having a very, very large homeless population. I am a tour guide today, this is fun. Where are your legs? Just picked up Laura from work. How Can was you work? tell them what you've actually sent your friend? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Christian actually sent like a really like cute like just like he said something really cute to me, but he actually sent it to his best friend Connor. I call my friend Connor Missy Missy Squishy Squishy. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so funny. Yeah, sent it to the wrong yeah. person. It might have been him responding. He just yeah, he just sent a laughing emoticon. The crying laughing, so like he's really laughing. Oh. What did he say? He said I threw up a little bit. <laughs> In Vancouver, they're currently filming the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey. So every morning when I walk um, to work, I walk past the filming and I actually saw, I didn't see the actors, but I saw the main girl's body double. I was like, oh. And yeah, we're going to pick up my little sister right now. Don't get me out. Oh my gosh. Little jaywalkers. Eating some of our homemade beef and chicken fajitas. Nothing beats a good chicken fajita. Hey Laura, how's your fajita? Um, it's good. It is good. Oh, Michael? Oh, hi, Mom. I'm not here. Is that Buster? Tell him I'm fine with It's my favorite show ever, Arrested Development. Laura and I are running to the gym now, and after that I'm gonna come home and edit my vlog being this vlog, so this is gonna be the most up-to-date current vlog you could possibly ever get. But with that being said, that's the end of my vlog for today, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. See you later, bye.